Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I'm going to share a little planner company with you called Hello Sunday Planner. This is a Christian based uh, planner. It's an undated planner also. And it is run by a mom named Carol. And she designed this planner. She said it's a reminder to stay accountable to bring a higher focus into the day-to-day -day human existence thing that we're all doing. She said, may it help you to stay focused on him, grateful and organized. So this is Christian based. It is a planner that measures eight and a half on the cover by six and a quarter. It has a really strong spiral metal ring system. Because of the smaller size, it feels very portable, you guys. It really feels super portable to me. I love the navy color color on it. I love the look of the cover and it has a really nice feel. It feels really soft like velvet. So it's actually a beautiful cover I think. Plan, push, rest. I love the cover. Hello Sunday. There's your um, title page as I would call it. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails, Proverbs 19.21. So throughout this planner, there are scriptures. I want to point that out to you guys. If, you know, a christian based planner is not for you, then this is not the planner for you. Right here in the beginning, you have his wisdom. She has some really nice scriptures here from Psalms, from Thessalonians, Jeremiah. I imagine their scriptures that are motivating to her. Then she has outlined some lines for you guys on these few pages. You can probably respond to those scriptures or add your own favorite scripture references there. So whatever you want to use those few scripture pages in the beginning. And she labels that with even with a tab, which I think is really nice, called His Wisdom. All the tabs are navy matching the cover. And then she has a quote on every tabbed page. And every tabbed page is really super heavy cardstock. I do not know the paperweight of the paper because I have not heard back from her yet. I will put that in the video on the screen if I hopefully find out about it before I do my editing on this video. But I did do a pen test for you guys and I will show you that. So on every tabbed page, it's really heavy, heavy cardstock. And the tab is on there really well. These tabbed pages are strong. Okay, this is under a tab labeled Yearly Goals. And this is your vision board right here. She kind of already makes a mind map for you to have a vision board for the year to work from and some basic like eight square boxes here to work from with your vision board. Then you have some goals pages. What's your goal? A couple lines to fill that in. Why? Why did you pick this goal? And then action steps towards that goal. And you have on each page five. Five goals to fill in for each page. So you have ten goals there. And then you have just some lined pages, two lined pages, two grid or graph pages. And then you're going to go into your yearly calendars tab. And you have another scripture from Roman on there. Then you have 2018 holidays outlined all here. And you have your 2018 year at a glance. I need to point out these monthlies start on a Monday. Okay. So your year at a glance here, your monthlies start on a Monday, and that also matches your monthly layout here. So that is grouped together your Saturday and Sundays, and your Saturday and Sundays are kind of coated in this um, really muted light yellowish khaki color right there. Then you have 2019, since this is an undated holiday, an undated planner. She also gives you the 2019 holidays and the 2019 year at a glance there. And then she even gives you the 2020 holidays and 2020 year at a glance. You have important dates laid out here. So for January, February, March, April, May, June, and then the second half of the year on this page. And you can obviously put the date here and like what item is going on in that yellow highlighted section. Then you get to your first monthly tab, January. And you have a scripture on every tabbed page. For your monthly layout, like I said, it's a Monday start, which is less common. So I always like to point that out. But a lot of people do like their weekend group together. And then she writes, hello, Sunday, the name of her planner, right there on Sunday with a little teeny cross, if you can see that. 
I, I like the fonts used in this planner and I love that navy is used for all the lines and the days of the week. Then you have grateful. You have a little section for the month for grateful, important tasks, looking forward, and you just, you have your whole month outlined right there. Of course, you have to fill in the dates on an undated. Here is your weekly layout, and I will show you the pen test first. Like I said, I do not know the weight of the paper right now. My personal guess would be 60 to 70 pound paper just from feeling it and the way it reacts to pen. And 60 to 70 pound is somewhere in between 90 and 100 GSM if you're converting that. That's just my personal guess right now. I will put it in here if I find out the paper weight before I edit the video. There is the pen test. All the pens are written in this column. So there is no major ghosting problems in this planner. You can see the highlighter a tiny bit. The red pen, you can kind of see a tiny bit, but nothing's bleeding at all. And ghosting is very minimal. And that was all written in this column right here. Okay, so in your, let's look at this weekly layout. It's a vertical layout, as you can see. It starts on a Monday, just like your monthly view. And you have Saturday and Sunday all highlighted in the yellow. So once again, highlighting them out like the calendar. You start your day with a place, to, it says temp, to write your temperature if you want up here, and to circle either sunny, cloudy, rainy, or snowy. So there is your weather right up there up top. You have room to write the week of. You have a pray and think box right up there, and then a tasks and progress down the side. Then you have two starred items at the top. So kind of like what are your top two things for the day? Then you have three tasks right there. So this could actually be something you're tracking for the day, or it could be two important things for the day, and then you have your th top three things to maybe complete for the day. You have hourly schedules from 7 a.m. until 9 p.m. And you have kind of outlined here from like um, morning, noon, and evening, kind of when the three parts of the day start. You have seven tick boxes right here. So if you're tracking water, okay, you have eight tick boxes right here for if you're tracking water consumption. But of course, if you didn't want to use that for water, you could use it for something else, but it's eight, so it makes sense for water. You have another box here, which you could use for dinner. A box here you could use for like workout. So you could use those boxes however you want. They're open to your interpretation for whatever works for you. And that is how your weekly layout looks. So you can easily see Saturday and Sunday stand out with their yellow kind of highlighting in there. And the other yellow highlighting, it's kind of nice to highlight that two start events of the day and to highlight maybe this last box that could even be for a gratitude for the day. It's really however you want to lay out your day. And then the planner just repeats itself. This is what your quote pages look like. You always have a navy red, kind of that dark brick red, and this really light, um, very light yellowish khaki color. Your month of February is laid out and it goes all through your 12 months of the year. When you get to the end, you have a notes tab. It's kind of nice that every single section in this planner is tabbed. Under your notes, you have a notes page with tick boxes all down the side. You have kind of broken up into boxes if you want to break up different tasks or projects. You have tasks with tick boxes and arrows to kind of lead what else goes with that task, maybe another action step. You have challenges, one, two, three, and growth, one through 10. And then you have these pages repeated. You have six sets of these notes and tasks pages repeated. Then when you get to the end of those six sets, you have just a notes page in that. And then you have a projects page here. Projects, arrows to go to action steps on the site. So there are five projects on this page and you have this page repeated. And you have six of these projects, notes, pages repeated right here, of these sets. Then you have a graph grid right here for a couple pages. Then you have lined for a couple pages. And then you have blank for a couple pages. So you're getting every kind of paper in the back. And that actually gives you a huge amount of notes pages right here. That's a big note section right there, you guys. Some are, of course, those laid out notes pages for you where they're pre-designed and then it goes into the graph, into the line, and into the blank. 
Oh, and I didn't even see this earlier when I looked through here because this was kind of sticking. She even has just outlined these box pages, which I imagine can be used for, you know, projects, kind of is what I would use them for. Or if I'm thinking like I want to clean out my room, kind of map out what do I need to do in the closet? What do I need to do under the bed? You know, what do I need to do with the credenza in my room? So such like that, if you're doing a project, this would be good for mapping them out. You have several of those pages. Then at the very back, you have a zipper pouch, which is a really thick zipper pouch and closes just by pushing it really easily. So if you need to stick some things in there, receipts or stickers or cards to stay secure because there's no pocket attached to the back. So instead of a pocket attached to the back, you have this zipper pouch. And then that is the end of the Hello Sunday planner, you guys. A nice little compact undated planner if you want something with some Christian um, quotes and scriptures in it and to be motivated that way. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Happy planning, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.